Hello, my name is Martin and this is 3D Printing Iceland. In this video I'm going to show you my results of two MakerBox samples. I got this MakerBox for the November, December uh, bi-monthly MakerBox and it's a bit late uh, doing a video but uh, I have a round of videos to record on the MakerBox samples. Uh, in this video I'm going to talk about the Winter Blue HT PLA from Protopasta and PLA Extra Fill from Filamentum. So let's have a look after the intro. So the first one is the Winter Blue HT PLA from, from Protopasta. Uh, this uh, filament is in line with the uh, Hi-Fi Blue filament uh, made earlier by them and I absolutely love this filament. I, I printed out several things. Uh, the first thing I, I printed was the temperature tower test I made and uh, overall for almost all temperatures from 250 to 280 degrees it came out pretty good and uh, it only at 175 I had a failure. Uh, it clogged the nozzle because of it was too cold but uh, on all other temperatures it came out pretty much perfect and uh, rest of the prints I printed out at 215 degrees uh, that was somewhere here in the middle and uh, the f second test I did was a stringing test and it came out pretty good there is a little bit amount of stringing but uh, nothing too serious and I was quite happy with, uh, with this temperature uh, I might have, should have reduced it a little bit, but uh, it's only a tiny amount of stringing, so it's not a, not an issue. I, I printed out the overhang test, and the bottom side of that uh, came out very good. And this was facing uh, away from the fan, so the bottom side was facing uh, away, and uh, it has excellent results. So this was very good. I also printed out the. Uh, uh, this tolerance uh, test and all the cylinders just popped out so it was very uh, nice and accurate and no issues also the the bridging test it came out pretty good only in the longest bridge there was a few threads that was loose but uh, other than that it came out pretty good and maybe if I would lower the temperature a little bit, it would perform even better, but it uh, has great results. Uh, then <coughs> I printed out my maker coins, and I really like this uh, shine and color of this filament, and I got a little bit too greedy and, and started to print uh, two maker coins, but uh, ran out of filament, so both are no, no good. <laughs> But uh, print quality wise it came out really good and I really like the look of this filament. So uh, my overall experience with this filament it was really easy to tune in and, and no problems I had. It looks absolutely fantastic and, and prints in a wire, uh, wide range of temperatures. So it's really easy to work with and I was quite happy with this filament. So uh, this is a color I really like. Uh, so when I have the chance to order from Protopasta, I'll probably buy a roll of this filament. So the second filament I had in this uh, test was uh, PLA Extra Fill uh, from Filamentum. And the color it is called Gold Happens. And I absolutely love this filament. I uh, have a roll of it already, so I had a pretty good uh, setting dialed in for it and had quite good results. I ended up printing at 205 degrees uh, on the hot end and uh, I did several tests I'm going to show you. So the first uh, test was the stringing test and there is almost no stringing there. So maybe one tiny bit of stringing but almost no stringing. So this was coming out excellent and, and layer adhesion is pretty good. It's uh, quite uh, strong. Uh, to uh, even at 205 degrees, so I, I have a good setting for this filament. Uh, the tolerance test, uh, this one came out really easy also, all cylinders were loose. Uh, there was a little bit more drooping uh, on the bridging test than the winter blue from Protopasta. Uh, uh, 
uh, but uh, it was not so bad but uh, as you can see uh, there's a little bit more uh, drooping on on this print uh, on this test print it came out absolutely perfect uh, the bridging test here is absolutely fine and, and the overhang tests here are, are also excellent and there's absolutely nothing with this print it's just pretty much perfect um, I printed out also the, the overhang test and uh, I had a little bit of drooping on the steepest on the 70 degrees and maybe uh, I would try to lower the temperature or, or maybe try to turn this uh, in a way that the fan blows underneath uh, to see if I get better result but this is uh, uh, the same issue I have here a little bit of drooping but other than that this filament is, is looking crazy good I printed out my maker coin and it looks fabulous with the glitter in it and came out perfect there's no issues and the small letters came out uh, very good so there's nothing to complain about the print quality and uh, I finally uh, did an omnum with this filament it lo looks <laughs> crazy good and I'm really happy with, with how the surface uh, textures with this filament is, is showing it it's like the difficult to see the layer lines because of the glitter uh, and the texture of it it's only here on the top you can see a little bit of layer lines uh, but this is printed at uh, 0 0.2 millimeter layer height and it uh, as you can see it's just seamless on the on the sides so it's excellent uh, filament and it looks crazy good so this was a gold happens uh, PLA extra fill from filamentum Overall, the, the print quality and, and uh, ease of use with this filament is excellent. It's very easy to tune in and, and I had very good results and it looks absolutely fabulous. So uh, uh, I would highly recommend this uh, filament if you have a project that can use of this gold shiny uh, glittery color. It's uh, very easy to work with and looks uh, excellent. So. Um, I would give this a go and I already have a roll uh, that is maybe half finished <laughs> through with this filament and I printed out a quite a number of my maker coins with this filament because it looks fabulous and uh, I'm really happy with this filament. So that will conclude this video on the uh, Protopasta Winter Blue HD PLA uh, that came out excellent and also excellent filament is uh, from Filamentum PLA Extra Fill Gold Happens. I'm really happy with both of those filaments and very easy to print with and, and uh, especially the protopasta filament has a very high range of temperatures that was working quite well for me so uh, uh, as you can uh, could see from the images and the prints the, the quality of the prints are excellent so I would give those both filaments a go if you haven't already so for this video this will be it and I thank you for watching